everybody in here sitting here having my coffee inside the tiny house and I got a lot of work to do today so I might as well get going yeah I'm getting tired of looking at that and I was standing over near my other neighbor's property line looking onto my property and seeing this big old trash heap covered up with blue tarps I can't imagine they like looking at that so and I don't like looking at it I'm gonna try and get as much of it into these big bags as possible and eventually get it hauled off to the dump Look at what we got here. Kind of cute, but I honestly don't like the looks of these things at all around my house. That big pile that was there, there were layers upon layers upon layers. I kept pulling this back and I found another layer and then another. So I bagged up quite a bit of it over there. The rest of it I've just wrapped up. I don't know if I can get that secured and maybe just get a couple people and lift it into the back of a truck. Um, I don't know over here where there was that big blanket. I guess there was a little fire pit here So I'm gonna see if I can just burn that stuff, you know Um, over here. I just put a few things I might be able to use some weird looking bolts some stakes little screwdriver thingy um, A little mirror. I don't know what this is, but I'd be able to find a use for it and a couple little containers I can plant in a shovel head <laughs> um this is uh, an old dog bowl, dog food, dog waterer. Uh, I figured I can poke some holes down in the bottom there, maybe plant some flowers in it or something. I don't know if those are worth anything. I was looking for some of those for the van. I don't think the van needs it now, though. Uh, looks like they use this as a dog tie out. I'm not going to use it as a dog tie out, but I might be able to use it for something else. Got these little grill thingies. I'm going to rebuild the rocket stove to really not be a rocket stove, just to be a grill in an oven. And a couple pieces of siding I can surely use for something. And a couple cinder blocks. I got six beautiful eggs today, and I'm gonna see if I can fit them all in that water glassing jar. These chickens are just doing great. I'm over there cleaning out all that trash, and there's all kinds of worms and bugs in that. So I just dropped them off a load of them, and they're happy. Look at that, I got all six of them in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Yes, they are. There are 37 eggs in there because there was 31 yesterday and I added six more today and it goes all the way up to the top. So that is great and it covers the eggs perfectly. So I'm just going to put a label on it and see how long they last. Look at that. Isn't that great? I did kind of swirl the eggs around a little bit, even though they said it's okay if it settles. Just to make sure those ones on the top got a little bit of that line, but it's all going to settle down and clear out pretty well so place your bets now guys how long do you think these eggs will last look at my pretty eggs aren't they great I think they're great I decided to use up the rest of the planting soil that I had and plant some more seeds so this is an herb garden what I've got in here there's the uh, Italian basil at a few places around the side in the middle is majorum right here is dill and around the outside is summer savory. I've never grown summer, summer savory or majorum, so who knows? Maybe it'll work together, maybe it won't. But if it does grow, it ought to make a nice little herb garden. And then in this pot right here, I put Italian parsley. In here, I put sage. See, that kind of sage. Over here, what did I put over here? Oregano. And over here is rosemary. They say it's really hard to grow rosemary from seed, but I'm going to give it a shot and see. Um, so, yeah, I guess all this needs to go over underneath the <laughs> my little greenhouse. And my garden is getting bigger. It's expanding. Yeah, those uh, onions are still doing okay. So I just need to cover this all up with uh, plastic and, well, let her go. I haven't had to water any of those yet because they're still pretty moist. They stay moist. So, I'm hoping that this method will work. It's been getting down to freezing. Actually, last night it got down to 31 degrees. So, we still got a couple weeks where most of the days it won't get down below 40, but some of the days it does. Um, at the end of next week, there's two days it gets down to freezing. So, um, I'm hoping I'm protecting these well enough. If nothing else, they just won't sprout until the you know, the soil warms up. So we'll just see how this goes. While I was out digging in the dirt, the UPS guy pulled up, so you know what time it is. <laughs> Yo.
Yep, it's right here. I got it in my lap and I'm gonna open it. I should have brought the Tide Pod out, but I didn't have it out when I was digging in the dirt. So, <laughs> hang on, just let me get this open. I got it open. All right, let's see what is in it. I should have brought the tripod out. More bubble wrap. You know I've been using a lot of that. What is... Whoa. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what this is. Look. It's a big thing. It says Tecton. 532-inch capacity. All right, I got to take this thing out and I got to see what's in it see what it is let me see if I can find a note I know what these are these are bolt cutters look at that you just open it you got to use two hands and then you can snip all kinds of different things it says it's bolt cutters but it also cuts pipe and wires and see that right there you can adjust the little jaw thingies so yeah this is great you know what when I'm building my fence cutting chicken wire all of that kind of stuff these are gonna come in handy I have absolutely no idea who got these for me. I just want to say thank you. This is a very clever thing to have around and I do not have one. I absolutely do need one. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I got me some heavy duty bolt cutters. Right on. Look at Papa. He just, he's on his lead and these chickens just love to be around him. They literally just follow him all over the place, especially Roxy. Roxy, all the chickens will be out foraging somewhere else, and then you'll see Roxy right up next to this boar. I think that's great. Come on, Papa. Come on. That's a good boy. That's my good boy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come sit down with me by the... The weird grill that I built. I decided to adjust the rocket stove and make it a oven slash grill and this is what I made. It's sort of a Mexican, well I don't know, I don't know any self-respecting Mexican would eat something like this but I just threw a casserole together. It's got some noodles, vegetables, uh, spicy stuff, chicken, um, I don't know, lots of different stuff. Threw it in there and it's basically done. And this part was covered. Maybe in the next video I'll show you what exactly this is. I think it's done. Let's have a taste. What do you think? I don't know. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm. It's pretty good. But this pan is going to be toast after this. I think when I do this again, I will use those foil baking thingies. But this made a very nice casserole. It's nighttime and I'm in the tiny house. I'm relaxed. Mr. Lucas called and invited me over for a couple of beers. So yeah, like color me there. Anyhow, uh, Papa's laying down next to me and he's doing better. He's doing okay. Um, his bowel movements still aren't as regular as they normally are, but I just need to keep taking him out for walks and whatnot. And hopefully that will clear up. Um, that casserole actually turned out, uh, you know, pretty okay. I need to adjust a couple things on that new grill slash oven. And I'm going to show it to you once I make those adjustments and cook something on it. Because I think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. And I just love sitting out by a fire. I mean, it's not a rip roaring fire. The fire, I mean, the fire is contained. But it's still nice cooking outside. I love, love, love to cook outside. So anyhow, tomorrow's another day. And I will do more stuff tomorrow. So I hope you all sleep well. And I hope you all had a really great day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.